Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at calculating the mean of grouped data. The frequency distribution table below shows the lifespan of poultry birds in Oninap farm. Calculate the mean of the distribution. The lifespan is given as intervals and the number of beds are also given. So we go ahead to calculate the mean of the distribution. So we arrange our table in a vertical form with the class interval and the frequency. For the first column being the class interval of the lifespan and the number of beds being the frequency. And we have our formula for the mean as summation of fx over summation of f. So in this formula, we know our f, which is the frequency, but we don't know the x. So for grouped data, we are going to get our x from the class intervals. So we go ahead to create two more columns. The first one is x, which is the mid value of the class interval. And the second one is fx. Now, for the class interval, we find the mid value. How do you find the mid value? The lower class plus the upper class, then divide by 2. So that 50 plus 99 divided by 2 gives 74.5. 100 plus 149 divided by 2 gives 124.5. Remember, this is not minus. It means 50 to 99, 100 to 149. So that you won't be looking at it that this is minus. Why am I adding? I am adding in order to get the mid value, which represents the x. So we still remind you that we are adding the lower class interval plus the upper class interval and then divide by 2. So we continue. 150 plus 199 divided by 2 gives 174.5. 200 plus 249 divided by 2 gives 224.5. 250 plus 299 divided by 2 gives 274.5. 300 plus 349 divided by 2 gives 324.5. Remember, we are not subtracting. We are adding the lower class interval plus the upper class interval and divide by 2. So 350 plus 399 divided by 2 gives 374.5. 400 plus 449 divided by 2 gives 424.5. 450 plus 499 divided by 2 gives 474.5. 500 plus 549 divided by 2 gives 524.5. So we have created the column for x. We can then go ahead to find fx, which means the frequency multiplied by our x. So the first class interval 14 times 74.5 gives 1043. 36 times 124.5 gives 4,482. 55 times 174.5 gives 9,597.5. 68 times 224.5 gives 15,266. 76 times 274.5 gives 20,862. 62 times 324.5 gives 20,119. 45 times 374.5 gives 16,852.5. 22 times 424.5 gives 9,339. 12 times 474.5 gives 5,694. And 10 times 524.5 gives 5,245. So we are done 
creating fx as contained in the formula so what we do now is sigma fx which means we are summing up fx and summing up f that is the frequency so starting from summing up of the frequency that is 14 plus 36 plus 55 plus 68 down to 10 gives 400 please make use of your calculator in this calculation and also we go to the column for fx and sum up the values using our calculator so to sum up this we have 1043 added to 4482 down to 5245 from our calculator we have 108500 we then substitute into our formula since sigma fx is 108,500, we have it as 108,500 divided by 400. And if you press the calculator, we have 271.25. So that gives the mean distribution of this data. I hope you love and enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the median and mood of this grouped data. Until we come your way again, goodbye.